Alright guys, I'm determined to get through the header and footer section in this tutorial so that we can move on to more interesting things. But I still don't want to rush it too much because I feel like a lot of these tutorials, they just go through it way too quick and they skip a lot of details. So I still want to go through and explain everything. With that said, you can also go to my GitHub dot com forward slash Dino Kajic and there you'll find the car rental e-commerce uh, right inside that repository you can go ahead and basically go ahead and download it you'll find all the all the code is in here but for sake of practice I encourage you not to uh, download this right here so instead just follow along and uh, we'll get through this, I promise. Well, let's go ahead and open up uh, where we left off. Let's go into the header. So for the header, instead of me uh, doing everything one by one, etc., etc., I'm just gonna go ahead and copy the code that I've already written, and then I'll explain it. So right here, remember I was telling you in the previous one, you can go ahead and get yourself the navigation. It's pretty much what I did, and I just went ahead and modified it. So there it is, there's the class nav bar. Um, I did set the nav bar inverse to make it appear dark. And then uh, we have this container fluid, which just basically states, go ahead and expand the navigation from left to right. There's the header, which uh, will contain an image. There it is right there. Uh, with an ID of logo, and it's okay with it, assets. Uh, images rental.png which currently I don't have but we will uh, by the end of this tutorial so it's gonna be in there the next portion is uh, the portion that's gonna appear on the left side which are just a few links like home about vehicle selection and contact each one of those uh, gets the echo base URL to go ahead and echo the or display the or print the actual URL that we're currently on. You could set a class active to highlight one of the tabs. The next thing, the next one down is the about, which we just basically call the about controller, the rent vehicle and contact controllers. Uh, we haven't created those yet, but we sure will. This portion gets sticky to the right and then there's some code in here. So let's see what this says. I guess we're going to be dealing with some sessions, so we're going to want to check to see if session logged in is set and if it's set to true. If it is, we're going to want to output this code right here. So what does this code say? Well, there's the customer account information. Uh, it looks like I have it set twice where in one port portion there's a link for the account, the other one says welcome. And we're gonna get the customer's first and last name that's logged in. So if they click on either welcome, first last name, or on the account, it'll take them to the account page. If you look right here, this is that font awesome include that we did right here. So now we can use these pretty cool font awesome fonts. The next portion right here, we are gonna be setting different access levels to uh, to our users. So for example, if access user or access level of a user is 100, that means that they're an administrator. So we want to display this admin account link. Uh, this is the admin account controller, which we haven't created yet. We're also going to want to display the logout uh, link for everybody. And the logout is a method within the login controller. Otherwise, if they're not logged in, then what we're going to want to display is the sign up and the login. So we're going to create this register model and we're also going to kind of be creating this login modal pretty soon. The next thing we check is we check because we're going to be able to add stuff to the cart if the session cart total is set. If it is, we're going to output this cart right here now of course i wouldn't have built this straight up like this 
uh, just going down and knowing automatically which sessions I need, etc., etc. In my first iteration, I would have probably just included these two links right here and none of this other stuff. And then as time progresses, I'm like, okay, you know, once the customer's logged in, we also need to give, you know, these details. Okay, if the customer's an administrator, they also need to see the admin account. And then once you also do your cart, you say, okay, you know, is the cart, if the cart session is present, um, then we want to display the cart up there. And like I said, Font Awesome has all these cool uh, fonts that we're going to be using throughout. So that's pretty much it. The only thing that we do need is this rental.png image. And look at this. It just happens that I have this rental.png image. So there it is. I went ahead and created this earlier. So you guys can create it. You can get it off my GitHub account, whatever you want to do. So now let's check out and see if it actually uh, works. So, all right, something's going on right here. I'm gonna assume it's because, no, it's not. All right, so something is happening for some reason. All right, so <clears throat> there was an error. I typed in boot wrap instead of boot strap. So well, let's see what it looks like right now. We go ahead and refresh, there we go. All right, so we're gonna have to modify this logo just slightly in our style sheet. So let's go ahead and open up style sheet and let's go ahead and insert our first logo. So I think the only thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set the logo height to about 20 pixels. Let's see if that takes, of course not. We're so gonna have to exit that out. And there we go. So Chrome it has a really good tendency of caching everything and you're gonna to have to go through this process quite frequently. So there we go, the logo's right there. All the details are right there. None of this stuff works is because we don't have those controllers but like I said we are going to be creating all of those controllers and there's the footer information right there let's see if it works right here it's, of course it doesn't so we're not gonna worry about this the next thing we are gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and create this footer if you guys aren't acquainted with boot snip you can search for stuff like footer, you can actually look for specific tags, like for example, login, shop, and just grab the snip. So right here, you'll grab the HTML, and you'll grab the CSS, and then you'll modify it slightly if you need to. For me, I've already modified it as much as I need to, and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste to modify information into it, right? So let's go ahead and add a comment up here for a logo. We'll put a navigation logo. Here are all the footer details right there, all the CSS code. Into the footer, uh, where's the footer? We're also gonna be including the footer code. All right, so let's explain this. So instead of section, we can do stuff like this. Footer, container, row, we're basically just setting on medium screens, display it as four columns. There's the footer left, and that's basically the class that we created right there, or actually just copied. And then there's some information, and we're gonna go ahead and modify some of this information. Because remember, we're storing some of this information within the configuration file. The image, that's good. It's always the logo. Um, we're probably gonna move that. Let's go ahead and just echo out the address. Phone, we can do the same thing. 
configuration file and email. How did that go out to email? So let me just make sure that the variable names are correct. Address, email, phone. Yeah, yeah, that's it. We're good to go. Blanks. We're not going to worry about any of this. The latest vehicle is just some of the stuff that I preloaded. We may later on uh, pass some actual data in here where this is dynamic. And this would be another thing to go ahead and move into the configuration file. So, config, Facebook. this over. Google Plus. All right. All right, we got that. Now, remember, we're going to have to load this into the footer through the structure model. So, data, Facebook, this, this config, item, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus. Plus. So I remember this information is returned to this footer variable which gets passed to the footer view. So now we can just output that. So echo This information is there. And Facebook. Later on, we'll go ahead and create the about, contact, and we're probably also going to do the blog. So we'll just go ahead. Blog. So that's for the blog controller. And let's see if it worked. fill this information up a little bit further then uh, this will get pushed down to the bottom but as you can see there are all the details the logos everything is good to go I don't want to fix the footer to the bottom just because it doesn't matter if you scroll through the page the footer will always appear right here so we'll just add content and this will dynamically move down well, I guess in the next tutorial, uh, we'll add this login modal and maybe a few more things. We'll see.